everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. <laughs> Everybody, I'm back. Trip to Aldi's is done. Let's see what I got. Keep in mind, this is not my everyday keto, guys. This is my survival keto. This is me not wanting to delve into the world of carbs. While I've been gone, guys, I have stayed keto, by the way. So let's just go ahead and show what desperate keto looks like, which is often going to be keto that is maybe packaged, maybe not the best choice, but Let's weigh out the odds. Is it better to do a quick and dirty keto or delve into carbohydrates? You tell me what you think. I know being good, organic, fresh, always better than processed. Always, always. But sometimes when you have very little time to yourself, you do what you got to do. So that's where we are. All right. So we have pork rinds. I almost always have pork rinds. I typically have the flavorless pork rinds. Why? Because the ones that have flavoring often have maltodextrin in them. So try to go ahead and avoid those. Also check your label because many of the regular ones also have a lot of MSG in them. So you'll want to go ahead and check that. Does this brand have a lot of MSG? I don't know. Let's see. Um, I don't think it does. It's been a while. Yeah. Fried pork skins and salt. That's it. So that's a really clean pork rind for you to get. And you can probably sit there and say, Alma, a pork rind is never going to be clean. But in keto, it's not a bad thing. And it's a great substitute for breading, etc. So keep that in mind. Nuts. I also got nuts. Keep in mind nuts, especially cashews, have lots of carbohydrates. These are for David. Not for me. He's so great at maintaining his weight, by the way. So these are what? Six grams? No, eight grams of carbs. Yeah. Eight grams of carbs, one dietary fiber. So seven net carbs for what is typically a serving is, this one says one ounce or about 20 pieces. Most um, of your nuts are going to be a quarter cup. Now the almonds are going to be better for you. Carb-wise, this is with sea salt, and this one has 170 calories for a quarter cup, and you are looking at two net carbs on that. We also have the roasted pistachio nuts. I have a Southwest salad. You don't really want to use the dressing and stuff that's included with it. I actually just really like the flavoring of this um, mix, and it is really cheap at Aldi's versus the typical grocery store. All right, also at the grocery store, a little bit more expensive, is your bacon-wrapped jalapenos. You guys have seen that. I make these typically myself, but with the schedule that I've had lately, guys, I am going to have to do... Um, whatever it takes to stay carb free, which by the way, this entire absence of mine, I have been carb free. The worst that I did was Christmas. I had three tamales and the other day when I got my blood results back and I was so mad at my thyroid, I had two days of tostada chips and that's pretty much the worst that I've done over the past, I don't know, six months. So not terrible. All right, so anyway, these are six seventy-five at um, Aldi's and Aldi's, Aldi's. I know, guys. Um, I, again, I typically make these myself. The ones at the grocery store, at my local store, which is a less lesser amount of jalapenos, um, is about six dollars, and it's just with the bacon sprinkles. It's not the actual piece of bacon. So I felt pretty good about buying this. And again, since I'm short on time, this was perfection for me. All right, this is the bacon wrapped sea scallops. I do believe they had sugar on this, which is probably um, from the bacon. Uh, but I went ahead and got it. It is two net carbs. Uh, I'm figuring I, I just need quick and easy right now, guys. Again, more to come on what's going on in my life. Uh, but meanwhile, here's what I'm eating to stay kind of keto. And also just to kind of share with you some options that are out there. Um, all right, also got these mussels. Check it out. Now, keep in mind that most of your clams, your and uh, crab and stuff like that it is a little bit higher in carbs uh, this is the mussels with garlic sauce i got this because it was 249 i'm having a ribeye tonight and i thought maybe we'll just kind of do a surf and turf and uh, get lots of good old butter going on i love butter on my steak and uh, so we thought we'd do this again it is mussels with garlic sauce the other one was in tomato sauce and then this one is in their natural juices so let's take a look at it this one is seven grams of carbs here are the ingredients and again it's going to be from the mussels themselves and maybe also from the um, garlic garlic is kind of carby guys in fact i got some minced garlic here see so it says one teaspoon is one gram of carbs so yeah garlic is carby guys 
but darn, can you eat without garlic? I, I can't. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, let's see what the natural flavors, is it less? It's one gram less, yeah. So, you know, again, quick and easy. Again, surf and turf tonight, probably. Also picked up these <laughs> Salisbury steaks. I don't know if this is gonna be for me, for David, for mom, or what, but I'm just trying to find ways to make life easier while I am staying keto and um, having a lot going on, health issues in the family, myself, uh, the dog. I'm away from the house like six hours a day now, and by the time I get home, I'm literally exhausted. I mean, caring for someone who is ill is exhausting. It really is. So everyone that's a caretaker out there, God bless y'all. All right, so let's take a look at this. This would not ever be my first choice, honestly. It really would not. But I'm, I might just take it and make it easy for my mom. All right, so this is eight grams of carbs, one gram of dietary fiber, and this is probably going to go to my mom. I, I'm not a Salisbury steak kind of person. David is. It might be for David. I don't know. He can tend to get away with some of the, the higher carb stuff that isn't um, the best. And I will tell you right off the bat, guys, processed is never going to be my first choice. It's just never going to be my first choice. But right now, I don't have much of, of an option here i i've got to do quick and easy grab and go meal prepping isn't even an option really right now to do a lot of meal prepping uh because i just don't have time so it is what it is guys if you're new to my channel don't think that this is what it's always going to look like it, it won't i promise you i did get this avocado pesto really good um carbs i opened it up so you can see what it looks like i've never purchased this before we're going to do a quick taste test with it of my with a pork rind let's see let's see let's see let's see what it tastes like you can definitely taste um, the cilantro and the lime here's a list of ingredients it's not terrible avocados water lemon juice basil basil you can taste the basil in it um, it does have canola oil if you can stick it, if you can gear, if you can steer away from canola oil, do so, guys. Spinach, garlic, almonds. I honestly picked this up and didn't even see the canola oil. Everything else looked good on it, so my apologies for that. Um, it is what two grams of carbs, one net carb for how much is a serving? Two tablespoons. So there you go. All right, quick and dirty keto again, guys. Don't forget that's what I've warned y'all about. All right, so here's some oven roasted wings, guys. I've got this here for when Matthew pops in. Um, you know, it's keto. It's under one gram, but it has some questionable ingredients in it. I got some cilantro. It's fresh. There's never a concern about that. This um, salami David loves. It does have dextrose in it. This cold Atlantic salmon is delicious. About $10 for 10 ounces. I do want to get in the habit of starting to make my own mayonnaise. Here's Duke's until I get that done. have some avocados make sure you leave these out for a few days while they're still hard once they get to a good like you know touch and you know that they're good put them in the fridge it'll last about another week here's some mushrooms i want to make some pizza keep in mind that the brown mushrooms are a better option for you i do have two little packages of blackberries i don't know if i'm going to just eat these all like on a snack every once in a while berries you know they're still questionable but every once in a while i just need them and then I have my Kerrygold butter. I also have some blue cheese and my original cream cheese. I got these little babies for Daisy because she's on medication right now. And then I have, look at this, Atomic Spicy Pickles. I can't wait to taste that. Some uh, heavy whipping cream for me, half and half for David. I have a recipe that I want to try out with this cauliflower. Eggs were 78 cents. And uh, then I got these chicken fillets. Again, guys, forgive me. I'm telling you, my channel is not normally about processed food. Um, it's usually about my meats. Um, but I just, desperate times, desperate measures. 260 calories. We are at zero carbohydrates. But there are tons of uh, ingredients here. Not terrible, but there is sugar in it. So again, this is going to be for moments of desperation when I just don't have time or I'm exhausted when I get home. All right, so there's my uh, dirty keto. Yeah, we'll just say it's dirty keto. All right, have a blessed day. Bye-bye.
Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onido. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.